Well, what an interesting way to start the morning. Oh, no way. I don't know if the GoPro got that. There is a beaver, and I don't know if it's a cub, pup, I don't know what the name for a young beaver is. Oh, they're chilling in that rock. I can't cross here. This mom's gonna attack me. I need to catch smallmouth mother beaver. Oh, she's going over there. Okay, well, this is the time to go. I'm sure you guys can see the wake that she's leaving behind. Huge beaver over there. We got some pups, cubs, not sure what they're called, in here, in this rock in front of me. I'm not gonna disturb them. Oh yes, that's how I wanted to start my morning. Freezing cold river water. Oh, how to get attacked by a beaver, 101. Oh my gosh, these otter pups are just running around. That is so cute. That's not an otter, it's a weasel. Oh, I need to cross before mama comes back. Oh, but it's cold. Wouldn't that be some clickbait? I get attacked by a beaver. Neighbor, we made it. This has got to be a beaver dam. I just saw that little pup go in there. Wow, that's insane. Well, what's going on, guys? Your boy Chose Almighty here. And today, as you can see, we are back in the good old land of Kingsport, Tennessee, doing a little bit of smalley fishing right now. Two deer over there. Oh, there's three deer. There's a doe going out into the middle of the water up there. What the hell is she doing? <laughs> today, I'm using the double chop, though, and I'm throwing that on my new god pole. Still don't know the specs on it yet. Haven't looked into it, because I'm lazy. I can tell you, though, that it's a seven foot medium heavy. It's by Bass Pro, but I'll put it on screen or in the description, you guys can see it there. Man, there are a ton of fish eating on the top water out there. Makes me hope a giant will be sitting in here waiting for the good old chopper to come by. Today, we are gonna be working all the usual spots. Oh my God, that deer crossed the river. Two deer crossed the river. They're over there near the creek now. But like I said, we're gonna be working the usual spots today and just seeing if we can get any toad smallies today. Oh, it's got a feeling that we can. Man, this thing sure does kick up a ton of water. It's like every other time I break my PP, I come here. I'm here just at sunrise, so it's not hot yet at all. So hopefully these are the best conditions to get us a toad smallie. We're gonna start today's fishing mission by wading across this shoal and hopefully not falling. It's still a bass feeding frenzy over there. I'm just wondering why I haven't been blown up yet. This looks like blow up central right here. But I ain't seen anything. And with it being a few inches shallower, you'd kind of expect the fish to be here. Yeah, I don't know how well the GoPro is picking this up. There are a ton of bugs in the air right here, which means there are gonna be bait fish in the water beneath it. And where there are bait fish, there are smallmouth. So I'm gonna work this area. I'm guessing it's probably right there. Probably sitting right behind that log. It's got some slack water to chill behind. But unfortunately, there aren't any there today. Last time I was here, there was one right underneath this tree. All right, I'm gonna work my way out into the shoal just a little bit. That way I can work this bank to my left too. I caught my PB on this bank, so I wanna make sure I don't scare any away. It looks like the perfect place for a bass to be sitting. Got plenty of slack water just to sit there. This is the exact tree I pulled my PB from, and you can see why. It looks so fishy right here. If they're here, they're gonna be hugging that bank. There we go. There we go. Man, the grind was long, but it was so worth it. That was a good take. And this guy's putting up a fight. I'm on a medium heavy and he's doing this. Man, look at him bending my pole. Oh, this is a chunk, man. You can just tell. He's hurting my hand. I'm gripping this pole so hard. He's still running with it. Um, I might have just broken my PP again. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, man. This thing is a tank. Look at him. Oh my God. What is going on? I just catch tanks up here every time I come. This is insane. Look at this fish, man. What are you, this, you've gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna have to set him down. He's not gonna like it. Oh my God, that has gotta be the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. Oh my God. What is this monster? Uh, I cannot believe this. I've got to take a picture with him. Even before I weigh him, this thing is too big. Dear God, man. 
What a fish. I'm gonna get him some water before we weigh him just to make sure he doesn't die. This one's gotta be my new PB, guys. This thing is huge. That's a straight up three. Look at that. Oh my God, what a tank, man. What a tank. He came up and destroyed that thing too. God, I cannot get over these fish, man. They're so pretty. It looks like he's missing one of his spines. Wow, look at his, he's got his dorsal fin up, but it's missing a spine. This is insane. Let's get him some more water. This thing is a tank. Jesus Christ, I can only catch toads apparently. What is going on, man? Get a look at him in the sun. Take a look at that mouth for a small mouth. That's a tank, dude. Oh my God. Well, it's gonna be in the title of the video. I broke my PB again. What is going on? This thing is huge. Jesus. All right, we've had him out of the water for long enough. Let's get a release video of this guy. Let's get one last look at him. Freaking chunk, man. And there he goes. Wow, that was crazy, man. Let's go. Oh, we can't stop there. We got some more toads to catch, baby. That's a good way to start. Well, that's certainly a good way to start. Why are you bird nesting so badly? I can't fish if you keep doing this. <laughs> All right, guys, we are at the next spot and we have switched over to the popper. And I'm now throwing that on my six foot bill dance medium. Huh, well, that literally took. No, no. I didn't even get to say bait caster, but I'm throwing that on my six foot medium bait caster. And obviously there are fish here. That was as soon as it hit the water. That was crazy. You gotta love smallies. There's usually always a fish right here and it is yet to fail. The plan for this spot is to only use the popper, work my way all the way up to the next bridge and just see if we can catch a toad smallie. Oh my God. I didn't think he had it. That was a good one. Boy, he rushed over and got that. I think there's more than one over there. Jeez, he caused such a disturbance. I think there were two fish competing to get that popper. That is insane. I didn't even see him take it. That was a good one too. Man, that was pushing two pounds. Well, there goes my second missed fish on this part of the river. Jesus. What is going on right now? <laughs> now we're at the big smally portion of this river. There are usually a ton of smallies sitting right next to that log. And this is where Noah saw that seven pounder. Look at that. Look at that. Can I catch a fish today? <laughs> that was a good one too. Man, that was a good one. What did I say? I knew there would be a fish there. I was cursed. I have cursed myself. Caught a giant fish and now I won't be able to catch any more. Well, I'm almost back to the car. So this is my last chance to catch a fish here. Oh my God. That thing is a toad. I've got, he went for that as soon as it landed. All right guys, we are at the next spot and as you can see, it's right under the main highway. This is actually a spot I've wanted to fish forever and decided to do it today. Right now I'm throwing Berkeley Spook and we're gonna see if it'll catch us any toes today. I'm actually gonna get my backpack. We've only got about 30 more minutes of daylight, but I thought I would try this place out. It looks super fishy from the road. Every time I pass it, I wanna fish it. There was at least at one point a good smallie right here. I heard it eat. This water's pretty shallow though. But that's basically the recommended area you wanna be using spooks in. And this place looks so good. There ought to be a nice small in here. I think I picked up a stick. Sick bars. So what I think I'm gonna do is wait up a little bit further, then work back down and then go back to the car. By then it should be dark. I should have brought my lamp just so you guys could see the hook set. I got a feeling there's a toad smally out here though. I think I've been getting hit by doinks, but I think there's at least one tank sitting out here.
That's a fish. Look at this doink. This doink came up and said hello. And he is not happy. I guess I wouldn't be either if I had some treble zimmy. Okay, you are gonna fucking set a hook into me. He is pissed. Understandably so, though. All right, buddy, I'm gonna try to help you out. So don't be a squeezer, please. There we go, boys. What did I say? Doinks will be doinks, but hey, what a trooper. To come up and hit that thing like that, what a dad, man. And he came up and smacked it too. I guess that lays my theory to rest. The doinks have been hitting it. I'll see you later, buddy. What a cute little smallie. Okay, he just went under. I'm getting out of the water. I just want to fish, Mr. Beaver. Oh my God, that was the beaver. That would have been terrible. Oh my God. Hey buddy, can you please leave? I don't want to set a hook into you. He just tried to hit this. Oh, that would have been awful. I thought that was a big smallmouth or something. <laughs> no. I got to keep my eye on him. I do not want to get bit by a beaver today. I don't like this. Think of the clickbait, Logan. You got attacked by a beaver. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. Let's go. No way. Dude, he's barely...